peace for the men. All right. Yes, sir. Come on, Ice. I'm looking for a gay dude. What? What'd you say? Did yeah, you that's right. I said it. I'm looking for a gay dude. Now, this piece is not meant to be offensive or rude, but yeah, that's right. Black guy said it. I'm looking for a gay dude. Okay, let me explain. See, Pharaoh, I got this girl, right? Right. And things started off tight. We were cool, and I tried my best to follow all the relationship rules. Rules like being available when she calls, answering her texts in a decent amount of time, giving her compliments from time to time by telling her things like, baby, you sexy and fine. But most of all, trying to stay consistent. Even times when she would be persistent with crossover time. Fellas, you know, time that wasn't time that we would normally spend together, but she would cross over to that time. Which means that I would have to find time to make time because she added time to her time, which means that I had less time that I had dedicated to me time because a lot of my me time became she time. And that's, damn it, why I'm looking for a gay dude. <laughs> now in the meantime, she's building frustration with my hesitation. See, in her mind, I'm becoming inconsistent. But in my mind, she just got more persistent. And here in lies the relationship dilemma. She's claimed that I changed, but actually my actions remain the same. It's just that both of our feelings have changed. And yeah, it's true. We don't talk on the phone for hours at a time anymore. Well, let me explain. If you add up the 30 minutes here, the 15 minutes there, to talk time on my way to work, on my lunch break, and on my ride home, then it all adds up the same. And that's why I'm looking for a gay dude. What she can talk to about all of her work drama. He can ride with her when she go and visits her mama. And on those trips when she would spend hours at the mall, then guess who she can call? That gay dude. They can hold hands. Gossip for hours on end. Talk to him about the drama of her girlfriends and their makeup. Ask him to critique all of her hairstyles and her makeup. Sit and chat all day and drink lattes at Starbucks. Stand in line at Walgreens when she's buying her pads and her feminine products. That's what I'm looking <laughs> for a gay dude. This piece is not meant to be offensive or rude, but meant to give you things from a different perspective. The objective? To show you that our love can't be equated by the quantity of my conversation, but by the quality of my dedication. And just in case you still have reservations, that's why I'm looking for a gay dude. That's that piece. <laughs>